Glasgow is a city that prides itself on standing up for what is right. It is a city where we say that the people make it, where we don't vote Tories in and we protect the vulnerable. Right now, we need to live up to that reputation. We have done it before. When Nelson Mandela was locked in prison and Thatcher's government condemned him as a terrorist, Glasgow gave him the keys to the city. When he came to Glasgow almost 30 years ago, he thanked us. He said, well, we were denied our freedom in the country of our birth, a city 6,000 miles away and as renowned as Glasgow declared us to be free. We stood up for what was right in the face of our governments and action. We were in the right side of history. We have been the said city of the empire, make no mistake, but we have a chance to make Glasgow the place it claims to be. Are we the city of Nelson Mandela Place or of Glassford Street? Are we gallus or are we fear? <laughs> Nelson Mandela said himself, we know too well that our freedom is incomplete without the freedom of the Palestinians. Last week, a refugee camp was bombed in Palestine. A refugee camp set up for families pushed out of their homes. A place for those with nowhere else to go, bombed by airstrikes and helicopter gunships, levelled by bulldozers and tear gassed by soldiers in the aftermath. I do not have time to talk at length about this, so let me keep it simple. There is no reason on earth for one of the most advanced military nations in the world to bomb a refugee camp who have no other home, where children who have no other home sleep, live and play. I do not care what football team you support. I do not care what your views are in independence, what political party you voted for, or what your religion is. We have to as human beings, cause start from the place that children in refugee camps should not be bombed. There is no justification. When I visited Palestine, they asked two things of me. Tell people what you have seen and promote the only non-violent tactic we know that has ever worked against the governments that have pursued violence against us, boycott, divestment and sanctions. I am here talking to you because I have a duty to. I have seen what happens to Palestinians on a daily basis. They are denied freedom in the country of their birth. They are denied a country at all. They are denied safety, shelter, health and hope. I am talking because in the same week that Palestinian refugees are being bombed, killed, injured and displaced, our government passed a bill in second reading that seeks to ban BDS, the only non-violent resistance desperately requested by the people of Palestine. We must act to stop this bill. And we must support what the Palestinians ask us to. It is non-violent, it is effective. And I, not any of us here, are in any position to tell Palestinians that we know better than they do how to support their struggle. Please write to your MP and ask them to vocally oppose this bill. Please support BDS. Please speak out. Please come to rallies. Please organise and help the people of Palestine because they are desperately asking people in the city of Glasgow to follow examples of people in cities like Barcelona to take a stand for what is right. People make Glasgow. Let's, as the people, make Glasgow the city it has the potential to be. The city of Nelson Mandela Place. Thank you and free Palestine. To the BBC, your normal programming will resume now.